Do you ever have problems getting your rocket motors to ignite, especially when you're working with a group of students? That's what I'm going to cover in this video. Welcome to Advanced Construction Videos, where we show you how to tackle rocketry, building techniques, and more. On our website, we sell kits, motors, building supplies, and electronics. So come and learn, shop, build, and fly when you visit us at ApogeeRockets.com. Hi, my name is Tim Van Milligan from Apogee Components. Today I want to cover how to install the igniter in the rocket so that you have greater success when launching your rocket. Now, the igniter that usually comes with the Estes motors looks like this. And it has two thick wires and then a very skinny wire called a bridge wire that's on top. And this bridge wire is fairly fragile, so you have to be careful of it. So if you're working with students, don't give them the igniter until like right before they go out to the launch pad. Because if they put their igniter in too early, they might jiggle it around and break that bridge wire. Now the bridge wire, um, its job is to heat up and to supply heat to start the motor burning. Um, so that when you hook it up to an igniter, um, alligator clips like this, Um, I can apply electricity to it with the launch controller here. And just by pressing it a little bit, I'll heat it up. You'll see it turns, turns red hot. Um, there's a little bit of glue that kind of holds that bridge wire, kind of make it a little bit more durable. Um, it doesn't have to be there and this igniter I can keep doing it I can keep heating it up um, as many times as I need to until that bridge wire burns now typically in a rocket motor when the rocket engine ignites it's going to supply so much heat it's just going to fry that little bridge wire so the igniters are only used typically one time um, it's very rare to find an igniter that you can use over because they're usually burned in half um, so that's the purpose of the controller, um, and I would urge you to test your controller before you go out and launch. Um, just by doing what I'm doing here, just taking an igniter and just heating it up just to make sure your batteries are good. And that's the other thing that you want to check. If your batteries are bad or if they're old, it may not produce enough heat in the igniter to set the rocket motor off. Um, so when you attach the igniter clips, make sure that the clips don't touch each other or the wires touch the other clip because that's going to short it out. And so basically the electricity is going to go through here and then across the clips and out the other side without going to the bridge wire. So you have to make sure the igniters, the leads don't touch each other or the metal blast deflector, or both of them at the same time, because if they both touch the metal blast deflector, again, you're going to short out and the electricity is not going to get to that uh, bridge wire. So now the Estes motors come with these igniter plugs like this. Um, they come on a four on a strand and you just break them apart. But typically when you break them apart, it leaves a little nub on the tip like that and you want to take that off and just pop that off like that. You just want it nice and flat on the top like this one right here. And then take your igniter um, after you put your rocket motor into the motor mount like that. Take the igniter and then do this upside down. Take the igniter and then drop it in like this so that gravity is pulling it down so that it's touching the propellant on the inside. Then take the plug. Um, now, now notice where your launch lug is. Mine is right here on this side of the rocket. So I want to bend the wires away from that because when it's on the launch pad, uh, the launch rod is going to interfere with hooking up the alligator clips. So just kind of take it and just gently bend it to the direction opposite of the launch lug and then take the plug, drop it in, and then push it in really hard. And you should be able to pick up the rocket by the igniters without the plug pump coming out. If the plug falls out, you got the wrong plug. It's the wrong color. On the, the little tab, it will say what engines they go to. Like this, I have an A83 in this rocket right here. 
And if you look on here, it says A8 or B4. So either an A83 would work or a B44 would work with this particular igniter plug. Um, again, then you'll put it on the rod and hook up the alligator clips. Again, make sure that they don't touch each other or the metal blast deflector because that will short it out and you won't get a good launch. So when everything works right, it'll look like this when, you're, when it's hooked up and then you'll get a successful launch like this one right here. So my name again is Tim Van Milligan. I hope that helped you out in figuring out why you're having problems with igniters. Um, most of the time it's just mishandling or poor batteries in your launch controller. If you get those two things right, you're pretty much assured to get a good launch. Um, if this video has been helpful, leave a note or a comment below. Um, off here to the side, you'll find other videos that we have that I think will also help you out with your launch. And may the winds be light, and may the skies be blue, and may all your rockets fly straight and true.